Hey everyone, Mazer here, and today I wanted to try something new. Recently, our channel has undergone some changes. We've moved our live streams to their own channels and are in the process of figuring out what exactly we want to do here on Video Wolf Productions. We'd like to continue making reviews for fun and unique products, but unfortunately, it's grown rather difficult finding and affording these reviews. In the meantime, however, I decided to do this, making simple vlogs where I share stories and discuss various topics. I hope people enjoy these videos, and we'll see how this experiment turns out. So without further ado, I would like to share one of my favorite true stories with everyone today. I title this story, The Bikers and the Hedgehog. Back in the early 2000s, I used to work at Walmart. I was a cart pusher, you know, one of those guys who wandered the parking lots, gathering carts and lugging them back into the store. It was an easy job, I'll admit, but a backbreaking one, especially during the holidays when we could barely keep up with the rush of customers. And if you've ever worked at a Walmart, you know what kind of customers I'm talking about. Yes, it's true, a majority of them can be rather patient and nice, but others were just as likely to yank the carts out of my hand before I could bring them into the store. But those are not the people I want to talk about. I want to talk about a pair of bikers, a husband and wife, gray haired, easily to their mid to late 50s, both driving their own beautiful motorcycles. Now, before I continue, let me describe the layout of the store. This is important to explain how this interaction came to be. The store had two giant sliding doors, entrance on the right, exit on the left. And between these doors was another door where me and the other cart pushers could bring the carts in. This center door also led to the very tiny entertainment center of this particular Walmart. The entertainment center had a single arcade machine, a prize machine, and a large claw machine just chock full of stuffed animals. I would have to pass through this little entertainment center in order to bring the carts to the stall. And it is here where the story takes place. I was bringing carts into the store when I overheard the biker husband asking his wife to get change. He handed her some cash before grabbing a nearby shopping cart from the stall. I watched as he brought the cart over to the claw machine. As I left to get another round of carts, his wife returned with a stack of ones and fives. Not thinking anything of it, I just went back to work. When I returned, however, I was surprised to see that biker husband had already scored a plethora of stuffed animals. I don't know how much he spent, but he had at least 10 to 15 stuffed animals inside that shopping cart, and he was still playing the machine. I hung back for a moment just long enough to watch him snag two more stuffed animals and throw them into the cart. Curiosity got the better of me. After complimenting his latest score, I asked him what exactly he was doing with so many stuffed animals. And this is what he told me. We're retired and we don't really have that much money to spend on our grandkids, so this is how I make up for that. We win a bunch of stuffed animals and give them out during Christmas and birthdays. I melted. It was such a wonderful and kind-hearted jester, and I told him so. I wished him the best of luck, but before I went back to work, I did ask for one favor. I pointed out a hedgehog plushie that I've been trying to get for a week, something I always attempted to snag whenever I had some spare change. All I asked was if he could leave the hedgehog in the machine so that I could have a chance of grabbing it. About 45 minutes later, I was bringing more carts to the store when I noticed that he and his wife were on their bikes by the curb. All their stuffed animals had been shoved into travel satchels attached to the side of their bikes. As I passed, he called out to me. I turned around and he tossed me the hedgehog that I had been struggling to get. I was shocked. He simply laughed and wished me a good night before driving off. It has been nearly 23 years since that incident and I still have that hedgehog. He's in great shape and sits comfortably on the top shelf of my bedroom closet. A constant reminder of the kind-hearted bikers that just randomly entered my life. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the story of the bikers and the hedgehog. Hands down, one of my favorite memories of all time. It was just such a random act of kindness. Like, the guy could have just left the hedgehog in the crane machine and let me attempt to get it myself, but he went above and beyond and actually got me the hedgehog. I still have it to this day. Like I said, it's on my top shelf in my closet, sitting on top of all my other stuffed animals I've collected over the years, and such a wonderful and kind-hearted thing for him to do for a complete stranger. And... Yeah, I just wanted to share this story with everybody because the world is so chaotic. 
I just wanted to bring up a topic that was, you know, near and dear to my heart and hopefully would bring a smile to your face. There you have it. Uh, our very first episode of Video Wolf Productions. I don't really have a title for this yet, but we'll come up with something as we go along. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you like our little wolf avatar thingy. And um, yeah, let me know what you thought of our story and what do you think of our format in the comments below. Until then, please have a great day, a better tomorrow. I am Mazer, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.